Google Documents are probably one of the most underutilized pieces of software that are out there on the internet right now. There are so many different things that you can do uh, from sharing documents with others, doing collaborative projects in a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet, to even putting entire presentations up. But the one thing that I see getting overlooked so many times is the fact that Google Documents has the ability to create forms that you can put into blog posts, your website, just about anywhere online, and have people come in fill out a form with their contact information and gives you a great way to generate leads. So I wanted to show everybody how you can create those today. So I'm logged in already to my Google Documents and I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to click on the create new and then create a new form. And it's going to open up a new tab and in here I can put in any type of information I want. So uh, maybe I want to have people sign up for a contest or you know fill out a form to join my mailing list or whatever it might be you can get creative with the things maybe you want more information about a product we're talking about in a blog post so I'm just gonna call this one sign up for our email list fill out the form below and join our mailing list to get more great information from 210 Consulting. Then you have these questions underneath that you can make whatever you want. So I'm going to make the first one here be obviously just a name. And maybe I want to get first and last, so I'm going to put full name. And we want to make it required because without the person's name, it's kind of not a great lead. So we put that there, hit done. Then we can go and we can edit this second one. And you know what else do we need for somebody? We need obviously their email address. So we're going to put email address, and we'll make that also required. And um, maybe we want to get the person's uh, phone number, um, ask them a question, whatever it might be. Um, we'll do a multiple choice, and we'll just set one up here and say. Uh, would you like to join our mailing list? And then we can just type in here our answers. Yes. No. Make it required and done. And so we've got our simple questions here that we want to ask. You'll notice down here at the bottom there is a link that I can share out with people if I just want to send a link out and have like on Twitter or Facebook to have people fill out the form or one of the other things that's great is you can come up here to the more actions and hit embed and it's going to give you a code and you just copy this code and you can now embed this form anywhere that you want to I'm going to show you how to embed it into uh, a blog post and so I'm going to go over here to my WordPress blog and I've already got a blog post that I've written out and um, you know we finished writing the whole thing now and we're just going to click this HTML button scroll down here to the bottom where we want it in and we're going to just paste in this form now you'll notice in this code it gives you automatically a width and a height sometimes that's a little big and fits funny on your site so you might have to mess with that a little bit I'm going to alter mine a little bit right off the bat because I know that that width is too much and I think the height's probably too much too. So we're going to just play with it and see what happens. And uh, so we've done that. We can then preview it on our site. And so here it comes. And you can see there's my form all in place. So now that we've got this done, let me show you what happens when somebody comes in and fills out the form. So somebody lands at the site and they type in their name. and then yes I want to join and I hit submit and you can also put a, a customized response in here obviously we didn't today for saving time um, but now that this form has been filled out I can show you what happens when somebody fills it out let me go over here back to my Google documents and we're going to just refresh the list of them and you'll notice there's this new one sign up for our email list when I click on that it's going to open up a spreadsheet and you'll see it timestamps it, puts the person's name, email, 
and would they like to join? I can take this form, I can share it with other people, I can also edit it. So if this is a form where I'm trying to categorize these leads as yes, these are viable ones or no, they're not, I can just, you know, go through the list, highlight the ones that may be a green for go or something, and they're highlighted, and then sort through it and do all those types of things. It's really great. Um, so that's how you use Google Documents to start to generate leads and uh, create forms to go on your website. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it down in the comment section of this blog post or come over and shoot me an email through our contact button on 210consulting.com. Thanks.